This is part 109 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss row number function in SQL Server. This is continuation to part 108, so please watch part 108 before proceeding. Row number function is introduced in SQL Server 2005. It returns the sequential number of a row starting at 1. Order by clause is required. Partition by clause is optional. When the data is partitioned, row number is reset to 1 when the partition changes. We have the syntax here. We first specify the row number function. Followed by that, we use over keyword. And then within parentheses, we use the order by clause and then the column list by which we want to sort the data. Let's look at an example and that should make all these points clear. Let's flip to SQL Server Management Studio. We'll use this employees table. Notice within our result set at the moment we have got three columns, name, gender, salary. In addition to these three columns, I also want a row number against every row in the result set. So I'm going to use SQL Server row underscore number function. This function does not take any parameters. So followed by the function name, we use over keyword and followed by that within parentheses we use order by clause. Now let's sort the data by gender column. So order by gender and let's give this column an alias. Let's call this row number. Let's execute this and look at that. We get a row number for every row in the result set starting from 1. Now this order by clause is required. If we don't specify the order by clause, we get an error saying the function row number must have an over clause with order by. And the reason it requires order by clause is because this row number is generated based on the order that is imposed by this order by clause. Now at the moment we are not using partition by. Let's see what's going to happen when we use partition by clause. So let's partition the data by gender column. So we are partitioning the data by gender column, ordering it by gender column. So let's execute this query and see what result we get. Look at that. When the data is partitioned, look at the first four rows first. So that's the female employee's partition. So the row number has started at 1 and it went all the way till 4. And here we are changing the partition from female to male. So at row number 5, look at what happened to row number. It is reset to 1 and then it goes all the way until 6. So whenever the partition changes, row number is reset to 1. So here is the first example that we discussed without partition. Row number goes from 1 all the way till 10. And here we have the example of partitioning data. And look at the row number 1 to 4 for female employees and 1 to 6 for male employees. Now what is the use of this row number function? What's the use case? One of the excellent use cases is deleting all duplicate rows except one. So if you have a situation where you have a table with a lot of duplicate rows and you want to delete all those duplicate rows except one, then we can use row number function to very easily achieve that. We discussed this in detail in part four of SQL Server interview questions and answers video series. So if you go to SQL Server interview questions and answers video series and then in that part 4 is delete duplicate rows in SQL and here is the associated text article for that video so let's actually quickly go over this example so at the moment we already have employees table so I'm going to delete this employees table and use this script to create that employees table once again so let's copy the script and let's delete this employees table first. And then we'll recreate that employees table. So let's execute the script. And let's select the data from this table. Select star from employees. So notice we've got you know several duplicate rows. So what we want to do is delete all the duplicates except one. And to do that, we are going to use this script. Let's actually copy this. Okay, so look at the query here, which is part of this CTE. So when we execute this, look at what we get. So we get all the data in the employees table, ID, first name, last name, gender, and salary columns. And then we have a row number. 
and look at how we are using row number function here so select star this is going to retrieve all the columns from the employees table in addition to all the columns we want row number so we are using row number function uh, followed by that over keyword partition by ID column so if you look at this ID column look at that you know we have ID 1 and for ID 1 rows look at the row number 1 to 3 and for rows with ID 2 row number is reset to 1 and it goes from 1 to 2 and for this partition where ID is 3 row number again starts at 1 and goes all the way till 3 now so this is a CTE, a common table expression. On that CTE, we are issuing a delete query. So the name of the CTE is employee CTE. So delete from employee CTE where row number is greater than 1. That means it's going to delete wherever it finds row number greater than 1. So it's going to delete these two rows. So what happens when it deletes those two rows? We'll be left with one row where ID is 1. Similarly, it's going to delete the second row for the second partition. And for the third partition, it is going to delete these two rows. You know, effectively, at the end of it, it's going to leave just one row in each partition. Now, let's say, for example, you want to delete all rows except two duplicates. Then you can simply change this condition to where row number greater than 2. So what is it going to do in that case? It's going to delete all the rows where row number is greater than 2. So from partition 1 it's going to delete this row and from partition 2 it's not going to delete any row and from partition 3 it's going to delete the last row. So let's actually execute this query and see what we get. So it has deleted two rows from that table. So when we select from employees, now look at that, we have two duplicates okay for every partition now when we change the condition to where row number greater than one it should delete all the duplicates except one now let's select the data and look at that so we don't have duplicates anymore thank you for listening and have a great day